Hey everyone, Paul Fontaine from Keller Williams St. Pete. Just want to show you today a live viewing of our MLS system. A lot of people have a lot of myths out there about what's available and that there's no inventory available and things of that nature. So I just wanted to give you a really a live look. It is, what day is it today? May 3rd, 2022. Want to go through the MLS and give you a quick look uh, so you can get a gist of St. Pete and Tampa Bay area real estate and what's for sale. Stay tuned. So here we are in the MLS multiple listing service that we utilize as real estate agents. This is the heart of everything. When an agent puts a new listing into the MLS, then that is what feeds to all of the real estate websites out there. The Zillow's, the Redfin's, the Realtor.com's and all that other stuff. So uh, this is the most accurate and most up-to-date information. So we're just gonna put in, let's just put in Pinellas County here. Um, and this is saying active right now. So there are 1,439 active listings in Pinellas County. That's a lot. So when people say there's nothing to buy and there's no inventory, that is false information. Let's just put in some ranges here. Say, okay, it's a hundred to $200,000. Um, there's 158 houses for sale. While well, prices have certainly gone up, again, this shows you right now, I'll click on the map, give you a general idea of things, but this is Pinellas County and all these green dots are all places for sale. Two bed, two bath for 168. We can zoom in a little bit closer. So obviously we got St. Petersburg here. So we got two bed, one bath for 170 in South St. Pete. We've got a one bed, one bath kind of towards, I guess, Venetian Isle, one bed, two bath. Uh, as you get close towards Gandhi, there's quite a few uh, two bed, two bath for 169. And places in Seminole, two bed, two bath for 159. Indian Shores, we get a bunch of condos. Uh, Indian Rocks, each one bed, one bath for 120. Bel Air Bluffs, super fancy, two bed, two bath, 199. Uh, Clear waters up there, obviously. Got Clearwater, Dunedin, some places, two bed, one bath, and Dunedin, which is an adorable city. Palm Harbor, Harpen Springs. Uh, so again, that's just a general overview of what we have. If we want to look at, so it's 158. If we want to put in Pinellas County and put in Hillsborough, so 252 places for sale. All of the place from Palo Beach to Riverview, um, Brandon, uh, Plant City, and all the way up to Wesley Chapel, two bed, two bath for 190. And just click on something, so 190,000. So this is a two bed, two bath. Needs a little TLC, but what do you want for $190,000 in a beautiful area in Florida? Uh, new flooring, blinds, seller's gonna give you a credit for $10,000 towards remodeling costs, I mean, just wanted to click on one example just so you can kind of see what's available. My point is, there's a lot of places that are for sale. Uh, we help people purchase places every day. If I click here and I click off active and I click sold, this is zero to 180 days. So over 3000 properties have sold in Pinellas and Hillsborough County in the past six months. Let's just put it down to one day. What happened in the past day? 15 places sold under $200,000. So this is the map of it. So these are all places that sold yesterday. So when someone says, can't buy anything these days, can't win any offers, well, there's 15 people that won their offers and they closed yesterday and they did it for under $200,000. So I'm, I was just using that price point uh, as an example. It definitely is a lower inventory in the the lower the price point, the more competition there is. Uh, so I could do this example for the 300 to 500 and go from there. But just wanted to show you a live MLS search of what's going on in St. Petersburg and Tampa Bay area real estate. If you need any assistance and if you're looking to buy, sell or invest in St. Petersburg or Tampa, as always, remember to call Paul. Have a great day. Bye bye.